Welcome guys, this is Morbid DSI of the Regulators, and I'm here to bring you some more Division. But this time, we're going into the Dark Zone. Dun dun dun! No, it's not all bad, but it's all good. Somewhat. Okay, so we're going to go into Dark Zone, and this is just a video to show what's in the Dark Zone waiting for you if you haven't tried out the beta and all that jazz. So, if you're wondering who the fuck we are, look on the description below. We have a few links after you watch the video. And uh, let's get into the division. The Dark Zone. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, so you're going to go into the Dark Zone. And you're going to be doing a lot of this. Running around. And then not really sure what to do. Now, you're going to go into places like this. Note to self. Don't go into places like this by yourself. When you first start out. Word to the wise. Okay? So, some shit's gonna be happening here. Alright? Number one, a guy just a shot up an extraction flare to extract his gear that's uh, contaminated. And we're gonna go and check it out. Because that's part of this game in the dark zone. This is the the part of this the extraction part and this is the extraction part of the game of the dark zone now what you're gonna see here is an H now there's only a few places here that you can have an extraction zone and what the extraction zone is is you will acquire loot or gear that around this contaminated area this is the hardest hit of the fucking disease or plague that broke out in New York this is cut off, so you have to go in prepared that there's going to be some shit going on. Alright, so these guys that you see over here are waiting to get the, a chopper to come down to get their gear off. And I don't have it, but one of these guys have a yellow b pouch behind them. That's their gear, okay? That tells them that they have gear and they need to get extracted to get decontaminated. Alright, now, here's the kicker. In my session, all these guys are playing nice. So everybody's helping each other out to get the extraction out. But there, if you look right straight ahead of you, there's one dickhead that's going to say, I want all your gear. And that's what you would call a rogue agent. And a rogue agent is nothing to fuck with. See, they want your shit, and they want you to die, and they pretty much want to GTA this game. Or this part of the game, I should say. Um, in the beta, it was a lot of messing around. I'm hoping in the full game, it's not like this. But you can see here, these rogues, which we'll get to in a second, uh, they're out to kill you and take your gear because you have something that they may not have or they have and they can sell and get better on the other side of the fence, which is the ah, uh, it's okay side, okay? Now, what's cool about the rogues and just a regular agent is that you're a rogue and you're you're po posted out on the map um, for everybody to see we're all hidden we can see him what's going on here is this is more of uh, I want to get my shit and get the fuck out of here instead of trying to fight all these guys because every time you fight these guys and you drop your loot it's up for grabs for anybody to grab so you might have been in here for 30 minutes getting all this shit and this asshole comes along and takes it so four guys went ahead now if you see what just happened here I only got a couple shots on the guy I only you know kissed him a little bit with my bullets but yeah I still got XP for the mob killing him which I think is cool because I'm not in their group I'm just we're just kind of like strangers and I'm like all right I'm not gonna kill you you don't kill me all right now there's ways to acquire loot. Now, what I said, don't go in the subway. There's places in the subway that have people, like this guy right here that's about to come up. Um, he, There's NPCs that randomly pop up. And as you'll see here in just a second, right there is an NPC. He's shooting at some guy, and I'm going to firefight with him. 
yeah, I suck at shooting. Uh, I just got into this, so I'll get better as I come along. But these guys are the ones who give you your loot, and they're all around in the city. Um, right now, the, he was at the extraction zones. There's some guys in the subway, but they're, like, harder. They're, okay? Now, you want to see what happens when a rogue... When a good guy turns rogue, right here, and I get the fuck right about bang. This guy just fucked me to take my loot, and he has my loot. He's got my loot, and that's the end of it. Now, this is the other part. You'll be walking by, you'll be walking by, mind your own business, and then all of a sudden, turn around, and bam. There's a fucking guy coming at you with a baseball bat. This is things that happen in the dark zone. It's kind of like the uh, the the PVE area, other side of the wall, but it's more. It's got more of a kick to it, I should say. That that's really where it's at. There's a, you know you got the PVP where people are killing you, and then you got these guys that drop your loot. I mean, it's a really fun experience. So don't go in the dark zone thinking, Oh, I'm just going to wreck people. You ain't going to wreck people. You're going to get your shit split. Okay, so here's a few tips I think you, you should do. Number one, get in a group. It, I don't care what, who you... Get friends. Find friends. And number two, be cool to people. Because in this game, the cooler you are to people, the better off you are. So... Those are my tips for when this game comes out and then in a little over a week. I dig eight days now, and I can't wait. I'm, I'm going to see you guys in the dark zone. Morbid D side, and the regulars, I'm out. Woo!